well hi welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel I'm so happy that you're here well today I did a wonderful DIY it's of a juju hat and of course it's not a traditional juju hat however it is my reimagination or what I reimagined as a juju hat and the inspiration that I drew and I'm going to be using it for decor so what you're going to need is some a glue, a glue gun and glue sticks of course some feathers any kind of feathers you like and a base I'm just using Using a regular uh, placemat that um, I can use for a base and a lot of times they're actually concave now the feathers I'm gonna definitely use the link put the link for the feathers that I use rather in the description bar below so don't worry about that and you can use any feathers you want I'm using white and gold because that's the actual um, color of the decor that I'm using for this time of the year make sure that you get the feather on a trim if you don't get it on a trim that's fine but it's a little bit easier for this DIY for using it on a trim and um, basically it's going to be very quick and very easy and budget friendly and that's what I love I'm only using two packs of these feathers I got the gold tip ones you can use whatever color you like and all I'm going to be doing is going in a circle with the glue from the hot glue and once I put it on there I'm going to press down it's going to stay and it is going to be the easiest DIY that you've ever done in your life now they will look a little flat and juju hats are usually the traditional ones are curved like a concave and they're really fluffy I was planning on hanging mine on a wall I could have like cut this and joined it together to make it a little bit more concave but I actually wanted it to be flat so it's all up to you based on what you look the, the look you want and what you want rather so um, just bear that in mind now these authentic juju hats are basically worn by royal dancers and they symbolize prosperity and and also um, they symbolize royalty and so many other things and they're actually usually created from natural or dyed wild feathers and they originally come from Cameroon which is like in my imagination so fabulous but in the meantime um, these are the colors that I'm using because like I said that's the decor I have um, some high ceilings in my new home and the way it's made is I have a, a large settee in my dining room and it's just this big empty space I'm planning on doing a DIY um, for like decor for wall art but I haven't gotten around to it yet and then I was also shopping around thinking maybe I should put a mirror there so while I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put on the wall I'm saying to myself you know what it's so empty I need to put something there so this is some temporary wall decor so I, I'm really happy actually with the outcome of it which you'll definitely see so these hats are basically normally constructed from raffia which is woven to create the support structure afterward when you're making the, when they're making the tra traditional juju hats and the feathers they can be taken from anything from a chicken or a guinea bird or any other wild avian and then they're usually dyed or sometimes they're left in their natural color or in their natural state and then they attach them to the base and they actually use a leather strap which is attached to the back and it's used to like pull the hat open to its full breath and it's so majestic and beautiful oh my gosh now the size of the hats vary when they make them um, because particularly among those made for like royalty or export versus dancers and such and now they're making them for home decor and like I said they originated from Cameroon now as you can see I'm just placing the glue around and just pressing down and it really is that simple so now that you can see where I'm at I've done one full circle around and now I'm just going to begin this a little bit in front of that other first row the second row and well let me just show you when I place the glue so now you can see the difference I'm just moving it up slightly about an inch and that's all and we're just going to repeat this process all the way around all the way around we're gonna go around now you can see how far I came and how quick this is going 
It's so nice to be able to do a budget-friendly DIY that's going to have a lot of bang for the buck, and I love that. And once again, I'm just applying the glue and going in a circle. I didn't even cut this yet. The trim, I haven't even cut it. I'm leaving the trim all together. All you're going to need to do is cut it this, the next time around. Apply it, press down, simple as that. Now in these hats, as you can see, once you get to the middle, it's not going to be wonky. All I'm going to do is just continue the same thing. Go around in a circle and apply the glue. Now you can see where I'm at the very end of it. There's a little bit of space left, so I'm just going to apply enough glue to hold this in place. Because from here, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how you're going to, we're going to be cutting new feathers going to cut it above the trim and then apply it. Okay, so I'm going to do that and get this trim and cut these and show you how I'm going to do it. So see the trim? I'm going to cut the feathers right above the trim. And these are the ones that I'm going to apply in the middle. Just cut as much as you need it's pretty pretty simple and that's what I love about it it's a really easy DIY now I'm gonna apply those in a minute so I'm gonna show you how I get them to fit I already filled in the hole as you can see but I just wanted to put a little bit more but I just wanted to show you how I basically line them up and cut the bottom off of them See how these have the bottom and now you can just glue them in simple as that you just want to basically cover the middle and you can make it as thick or as thin as you like it's up to you see how this has these the actual um the part of the feather the uh well i forget what you call it but anyway there you go now she's all done and I absolutely love it. I fluffed it of course because like I said it's a little flat because I didn't have a concave base but I really love love this. And I'll show you guys how I styled it in my dining room and it is decor for now and I absolutely love it and it matches perfect. So if you guys like this please give it a thumbs up, comment below, I would love to have you back and don't forget to like and subscribe.